move to the next point, to us, we should ensure that whatever we do is clear. That means work is being done, we can see that it is in opposite direction. It is against. Hello, learners and viewers at home. I remain my humble self, Yari Zakaria, your commons teacher. Welcome to another segment of e-learning organized by Kaduna State Ministry of Education. Our today's topic is Law of Urgency 2. Remember, in our previous lesson so far, we have treated Law of Urgency. And in that lesson, we look at the meaning of an agent. And we define an agent as a person who is employed to work on behalf of another person known as his principal. An agent performs the agency services in the world of business. Therefore, by our definition, an agent is employed to work on behalf of someone known as his principal in the world of business. And we also talk about agency in our previous lesson. And by agency, we define it as a legal relationship that exists between two parties, which one called an agent employed by another one Call the principal to enter into a legal relationship by bringing the principal with the third party. In this case, the relationship that exists between the agent and the principal is what we call it agency. I repeat, the relationship that exists between the principal and the agent is what we call it agency. Remember, in our previous lesson so far, we treated business law. And by definition, we said that business laws are the law that regulates the operation of business or commercial activities. And under that lesson, we also look at the branches of business law, in which one was law of contract and the second one is the law of agency in which we are still treating it up to date. Today we are going to look at the duties, rights of an agent and the principal. Duties, rights of an agent and the principal. Having knowing the meaning of an agent and the principal, Today we are going to look at the duties performed by an agent and the right of an agent and also we are going to look at the duties and right of the principal. In this lesson we are going to consider the following. One, duties of an agent to the principal. Two, right of an agent against the principal. Three, functions of an Function an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal. The fourth one is duties of principal. Then, the last but not the least is the right of the principal. Right of the principal. Now we are going to look at the duties of an agent to the principal. Learners and viewers at home, when we are talking about duties, Duty simply refers to tax or action one is required to perform as part of his job. Duties are tax or actions one is required to perform as part of his job. Therefore, an agent have to perform some duties, an agent have to perform some tasks in which it is part of his job. And the duties of an agent are, one, he must obey 
or carry out all lawful instructions by the principal. That is, an agent must perform his work according to the terms of agreement. One of the tasks an agent must do to his principal is to obey the instruction given to him. An agent, you have been employed to work on behalf of someone. Therefore, you must obey the instruction given to you by your principal. Two, he must act in good faith and honesty for the benefit of the principal. He must act in good faith and honesty for the benefit of the principal. An agent must be honest, just like in the case of a universal agent. In the case of a universal agent that has unlimited or unrestricted power given to him by his principal. In that case, a universal agent is expected to act in good faith and always be honest to his principal. To this end, he must not compete against the principal. You are only employed to work on behalf of the principal. Therefore, there is no need for you to be competing with your, against your principal. Two, he must not misuse the confidential information in respect of the affairs of his principal. Anything confidential, anything confidential should be kept for the purpose of that transaction. In this case, an agent is not expected to tell the public about their business without the consent of his principal. The third one is he must not make any secret gain or profit beyond the commission and any other remuneration. An agent is not expected to make any secret gain or profit. An agent is not expected to make any secret transaction without the knowledge of his principal. You are only employed to work on behalf of someone. Therefore, you are not supposed to do something outside the time of agreement reached between you and your principal. In pursuance of this, the agent is accountable to the principal for any gain he made without the principal consent out of A. Any property entrusted to him by the principal. You are not supposed to make any gain out of the property entrusted to you by your principal as an agent. B. Any information or knowledge which he has acquired for the use of his principal. For example, the knowledge which he has been employed by the principal to discover or collect. Any other knowledge you acquire in the process of the agency should be used for that purpose. I repeat, any knowledge you acquired in the process of the agency, an agent is supposed to utilize it for the purpose of such transaction. The fourth one, he must act personally, that is, he must not delegate his duty as an agent to, to someone else. There is no third party in this case in terms of carrying your duty as an agent. You must carry everything within your reach. You must act personally without delegating your duty to someone. 
Remember, it is your duty to act based on the instruction given to you by the principal. Therefore, you are not supposed to delegate someone to act on your behalf. The fifth one, the agent must keep proper account and all transactions connected to the agency. An agent must keep proper account all books of financial transaction that consign the business. An agent is expected to keep all those books for proper record. And the book is to be used by his principal. These are some of the duties of an agent to the principal. Now, we are going to look at the second item, which is right of an agent against the principal. Right of an agent against the principal. One, he has the right to be paid his commission or remuneration or reward. An agent has a right. He deserves that right to ask the principal, Paid me for what I have worked for you. It is your right as an agent to be paid the commission for the work done. Two, he has the right to be indemnified for loss or for losses incurred in the course of the agency. If there are other losses incurred by an agent in time of running the agency, the, an agent has a right to tell the principal to indemnify him. Another word is to compensate. Maybe in the course of running the agency, there are some misfortunes that may occur. In that regard, the principal must indemnify an agent. He must compensate an agent because some of those things are unforeseen events in time of what? The agreement. If such happened, the principal must indemnify the agent or must compensate the agent for any losses incurred in running what? The agency. Two. He has the right to be reimbursed for all expenses incurred on behalf of the principal. He has a right to be reimbursed. Reimbursed and indemnity are two different words all together. That of indemnity may come in time of misfortunes, but in time of reimbursement, there are some expenses you've made on behalf of your principal. You incur some expenses in the course of running the agency. Things need to be put well, and the principal is not around. You decided to use your own money. You decided to use your own wealth. You decided to use whatever within your reach in order to see the progress of that very particular business. So at the end of the day, you have a right to tell the principal to what? To reimburse, to give you back what you spend in his absence. The fourth one, he has the right of stoppage in transit. That is, the seller has right to stop the good going to the buyer in order to regain and retain the position of good until he is paid. If there is any disagreement in the time of the agency, or permit me to put it this way, if there is any dispute in time of the contract, the agent has a right for stoppage. He can stop the good from going to the buyer. He has a right to do that because he is in position of good. Like in the case of Del Cride agents. Like in the case of a Del Cride agent or a factor who is always in position of good. When a buyer fails to fulfill his own parts, an agent has a right to stop the good from reaching the buyer and retain the position of such goods. The fifth one, he has the right to issue ultimatum. That is, the unpaid seller has a right to give 
ultimatum to the buyer compelling him to pay. Whenever you want a particular business to be done within a stipulated time, as an agent, you have a right to tell the buyer that the business is going to take place within this very particular period. It is your right to always tell your buyer. The third item we are going to look at is functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal. Functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal. Learners and viewers at home, in our previous lesson, we treated types of agents. Types of agents. And under the type of agent, we made mention about universal agents. And in the case of universal agents, we, we, we were taught that a universal agent it is a type of an agent that is given unlimited or unrestricted power to act on behalf of the principal. And in that case, we look at universal agent as a unicorn of an agent. It means he can do everything on behalf of the principal. This, now, we are looking at even with that unrestricted or unlimited power, an agent cannot perform everything on behalf of his principal. Some of the functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal is one, he cannot vote on behalf of the principal. As an agent, despite the fact that you were employed to work on, on his behalf, but remember that you have what? A limited power that in time of voting, you cannot vote on behalf of your principal. Even in the case of a universal and a general agent, you cannot vote on behalf of your principal. Two, the agent cannot give testimony in court on behalf of the principal. An agent cannot go to court and give testimony on behalf of his principal. An agency agreement is terminated in that regard. You cannot go to the court because you are working on behalf of someone to give testimony on his behalf. No, it is always impossible. The third one is he cannot execute a bit of it on behalf of the principal. If it's come to the time of a bit of it, an agent cannot perform such function. It is, he has limited power that he cannot do that. Now, we are going to look at the fourth item that is duties of the principal. Remember I said duties are tax or actions. One is required to perform as part of his job. So now we are going to look at what are those tasks that a principal is supposed to perform as part of his job. One, the principal must pay the agent the commission or other agreed remuneration or rewards. One of the tasks that the principal is supposed to do, must do, is that the principal must pay the agent his commission. Therefore, if you are working as an agent on behalf of someone, or if you employ someone to work on your behalf as a principal, have it at the back of your mind that you must pay him his commission. You must pay him his reward. Whatever you agreed upon, from the beginning, you have to pay your what? Your agent. Two, the principal must pay the agent 
all approved expenses he incurred in the course of carrying out his duties. The principal, you must, as a principal, you must pay your agents all the approved expenses he incurred in your absence. Whatever the agent he incurred to ensure that the business work well as a principal, it is your tax. It is a tax to you to pay the agent all the expenses he incurred. The third one, the principal must not interfere with the effort of the agents. This is where many of principals have problems with their agents. When you, when you delegate an authority to someone, never interfere with his work. Remember there are, there are sanctions. So in that case, when you ask someone to do a particular work for you, when you employ someone to work on your behalf, let him carry out his what? Obligations. Do not interfere with him. Do not interfere with the effort of an agent. The fourth uh, duties of uh, the principal to the agent. The principal must provide all necessary facilities to the agent for proper execution of the contract. Whenever the agent, whatever the agent requires from the principal, for the purpose of carrying the agency, it is the duty of the principal to provide such facilities to the agent. It is your duty as a principal to provide the facilities for the agents in order for, for the agents to carry out his obligations or his duties to the fullest. The fifth one is the principal must abide by the terms of their contract. Whatever that is agreed from the beginning, the principal must put it into consideration. He must abide with that. Because there are a lot of disputes in terms of business transaction. So the principal must take note of those things they agreed with the agent, and he must put them into practice. The last item is rights of the principal. Rights of the principal. One, the principal can sue the agent for default. If there is any breach in the contract, the principal has a right to sue the agent. Because if the principal can pay the agent his, uh, his uh, commission or remuneration, at the same time, if there is any default, the principal can sue the agent. The second one, second right of the principal is the principal has the right to recover any secret profit from the agent. Remember, as an agent, you are not supposed to make any secret profit. You are not supposed to make any secret gain in the course of doing that. If the principal happens to realize that you are making a gain without his consent, the principal can recover it. It is the right of the principal to recover it because the business belongs to the, to, the, to the principal, not you. You were only employed to act on his behalf. On his behalf. The third one, he can summarily dismiss the agent for breach of agreement. If there is any breach, if there is any misunderstanding, if there is any breach in time of the agreement, the principal has a right to dismiss the agent. The fourth one, he can sue the third party for damages. Remember, there are three parties that are involved in this contract. The first one is the agent. The second party is the principal. Well, the third party is the one that the, the agent linked the principal with. So if there is any damage being caused by the, the, if there is any damage being caused by the third party, the principal has a right to sue the third party. The fifth one, he can refuse to pay the agent his agreed commission, provided the agent has made some secret profit, which he did not declare. At the point in time, if the principal happened to discover that an agent made secret profit out of the business without his consent, the principal has the right not to pay the agent his commission. If you employ someone to work on your behalf and that person is making any secret profit, any secret gain, and that thing happened to come to your knowledge, you have a right not to pay him his agreed commission. 
learners, these are some of the rights and duties of the principal. In this lesson, we discuss the duties of an agent, rights of an agent, functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal, and we also talk about the duties of the principal and rights of the principal. I, before I go, I would like to give you an assignment that will keep you busy at home. Number one, state any three duties and right of an agent to the principal. State any three duties and rights of an agent to the principal. Two, state two functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal. Two, state two functions an agent cannot perform on behalf of the principal. Three, state five duties of the principal to his agent. Three, state five duties of the principal to his agents. Uh, viewers and learners at home, in case you want to submit your assignment, you can reach me through this number. 80 65694134. I remain my humble self, Zakaria Yari, your commons teacher. Stay home, stay safe. Keep learning. COVID-19 is real.